System Identification Toolbox lets you estimate continuous and discrete time transfer functions from your data. To do that, select Transfer Function Models from this drop-down list and specify the number of poles and zeros you want your transfer function to have, as well as whether it should be continuous time or discrete time transfer function. You can also either fix the delay at the desired value or let the tool figure out delay value automatically. Press Estimate to estimate the trans function and add it to the tool. You can try several different transfer functions by changing the number of poles and zeros. System Identification Toolbox also lets you estimate process models, simple transfer functions with fixed structure. To do that, select Process Models. The process model can be up to the third order, so select the number of poles you want to use, specify the damping of your system, and specify whether or not it should have a zero and an integrator. You see the formula for your transfer function here, and here you can specify whether you want to fix some parameters and then their values, or if you want to just limit the bounds of the parameters and let the tool find the values automatically. Specify the name of the model to estimate, and estimate it to add it to the tool. You can use a validation data set to compare the feed for the three models. And you can use the LTI viewer for further analysis. Here we'll add TF1 and process transfer functions to the LTI viewer, where we can compare the systems in time domain and in frequency domain. You can also take a transfer function and import it into MATLAB workspace for further analysis or control design. For example, we can use Control System Toolbox to design a PID controller for this transfer function and calculate and plot a step response for the closed loop system. This completes the demo.